The story of Kenneth Hagen's near-death experience is spectacular. In April of 1933, Hagen was bedridden. He had been ill with a deformed heart from birth. On the evening of the 22nd, he took a turn for the worse. His family stayed by his side and waited for the arrival of the doctor. Suddenly a pain shot through his heart like lightning. He was convinced he was living his last few moments. He states, My toes seemed to go numb. This numbness spread to my feet, my ankles, my knees, my hips, my stomach, my heart, and I leaped out of my body. I knew I was outside of my body. I could see my family in the room, but I couldn't contact them. As he tried to communicate with his family members, he felt himself leaving the room and falling into what seemed to be a downward well or cavern. Hagen claims that as he descended, he could see the lights of Earth fading away and was eventually covered by darkness. When he came to the bottom of the cavern, he was surrounded by giant orange flames. He saw what he believed to have been the gates of hell. He says he was physically drawn to those gates like a magnet, though he tried to stop himself. I was conscious of the fact that some kind of creature met me at the bottom of that pit. I didn't look at it. My gaze was riveted on the gate. As the creature grabbed Hagen, a thunderous voice spoke. The creature immediately released Hagen, and he felt himself pulled towards the light. Granny. Oh, son. You're back. Uh, Granny, I'm going again. Oh, no, no. Hang on. Hang on. Where's Mom? I, I want to tell her goodbye. Why, I thought your mommy, you were gone. She ran out the door. I've got to tell Mama yes. goodbye. Yes. Lily. Granny, don't go. No. Oh, no, 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 but as the darkness surrounded him, he was convinced that this hellish place was real. Hagen tells of calling out into the darkness. God, I belong to the church. I've been baptized in water. Once again, he was at the bottom of the pit, faced with the gates and the unknown creature. But again, just like the two times before, he heard the voice. I don't know what he said, but whatever he said, that place shook. It just trembled. Hagen remembers praying as he ascended towards earth. Oh God, I come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I want you to know it was like a two-ton weight lifted off my chest. Dr. Kenneth Hagen eventually recovered from his heart condition. He is known internationally as the founder and president of Rama Bible School.